Hello everyone and welcome to the introduction. Hello everyone and welcome to the introduction to our 2023 Lenten devotional series. Throughout this series we will cover who Jesus is to us and how he is a friend of our souls. I will now read the introduction to the book written by Unlike Joyce Mary of Magdala, peering into the Unlike Mary of Magdala peering into the empty tomb on Easter Sunday morning, I stood looking into my niece's chicken coop with its small flock of clucking hens. The Alleluia's of the Easter Vigil from the previous evening sang in my soul as the sight before me awakened the, the memory of a familiar scene long ago. I saw myself as an eight-year-old girl with the job of feeding chickens on the farm. With a bucket of oats and cracked corn in hand, I carried one on a one-way conversation with my friend, Jesus, whom my teacher in the three-room schoolhouse introduced as a trusted confidant. Without a murmur of resistance, my young soul sits in that teacher's enthusiasm for this Seven beloved later, companion. Back on that child. Seven decades with later, I look back on that child with awe and gratitude. Presence, the sense the I had then of a holy presence mentor, and the assuredness of a steadfast mentor of spiritual kinship remain with me to this day. With age Although my forms of prayer change with age blur, and images of divinity of increasingly blur, the goodness of Jesus continues as, as essential Amen. inspiration for how what would I live. live. What, would we what would we observe? What would we observe had been what would we observe what had been observe had been I'm sorry. What would we have would observed we have had observed? been so sorry. What, what would, would we observe? observe? I am so sorry. What would we observe had we been walking with Jesus as he moved among the people we of his time? We can, in a certain sense, do this by walking we through the gospel. When we read attentively, we catch sight of who he is, how he responds to others, and what he teaches about living in a grace filled way. Saint Simeon, an 11th century theologian, refers to Jesus' humanity in this way the formless and invisible God, without change or alteration, assumed a human form and showed himself to be a normal human being. He ate. He ate, he drank, he slept, he, he sweated, and he grew weary. He, he did everything sin. other people do, the except that he did not sin. The traits of Jesus' divinity reside within, divinity reside within his human existence. Noted author Frederick Buechner emphasizes, You glimpse the mark of his face in the faces of everyone who ever looked toward him or away from him. Which means, finally, of course, that you simply glimpse the mark of him also in your own face. To be the qualities of Jesus. To be a Christian includes more than memorizing prayers and reciting religious creeds. First and foremost, Christian identity requires having the marks of Jesus influence our hearts and the way we live. As Christians, we look to the person of Jesus to learn from him. This involves coming to know his essential goodness by continually returning to what he taught and how he lived. His goodness is to be a pattern of our own behavior. Celtic poet John O'Donohue remarks in Walking in Wonder that we are each the custodian of an inner world, one that other people with glimpse the from the way we behave. With few exceptions, the most difficult task of a Christian involves that of being a living exemplar like and conduit of Christ-like Christ -like virtues. Because my life, like most people's, fills to the brim with too much activity, my ability to express Jesus' qualities can wane and even slip away from me entirely. And so, each year, when Lent arrives, I step into the season with a desire to restore and enliven my relationship with the one who is central in my heart. 
are. The noble aspects of Jesus call me home with restored encouragement and inevitable challenge. To have those features of goodness more fully revealed through my personhood and daily living. In this book, Jesus, Friend of My Soul, an inspiring attribute from the life and teachings of Jesus is presented each Lenten day. We're going to combine and pick some and leave some out. We ponder this quality as Jesus lived it and look to see how this characteristic comes alive in us as we go about our activities each day. By doing this, we gradually become more attuned to living these virtues. Time and time again, the gospel writers describe the gospel writers describe crowds of people eager to see and meet Jesus. They come from a variety of reasons. Some are merely curious. Others long for some part of themselves, body or spirit, to be healed. Many are drawn to his preaching. What they discover is that they receive more than what they came for. The curious are invited to come closer. Those with physical ailments have their faith strengthened. The ones hoping to lessen inner woundedness hear affirmation from their courage. And some listeners are so impressed that they leave all and pledge their life to his path. What will it be like for you this week? What in you will you see? Like the people of Jesus' time, you may well receive something different or more than you expect as you if you spend time with Him. Jesus, you might as you pray with these qualities of Jesus, you might even discover that life. some of these and virtues limp along in your life and could use some in living, while others move with a steady positive the activation. The goal of Jesus, friend of my soul, is best expressed with the following Jesus statement of Beatrice Bature in the Easter Mysteries. Archetype. We are following as well as Jesus as our archetype, as, as well as our teacher and our friend, the one who exemplifies the very transformation that we are facing. We are going deeply into ourselves, dying to our former way of seeing, feeling, thinking, acting, in order to discover our secret self and to be reborn into a new acting. way of seeing, and we are going feeling, deeper thinking, acting. Jesus. And we are going the deeper as into he Jesus. Us deeper and the exemplar. Deeper into as he invites us the deeper and way. deeper into himself. There it is. As the living way. There it is. The path has Will been prepared a for a Lenten walk. And Will you take a step each day and arrive at the door of Easter with a more expansive love for Jesus? Will you accept the opportunity to receive renewed inspiration and have a more solid determination to be a tangible carrier of his teachings? I join you in spiritual kinship as we move even closer to the heart of Christianity, to a more complete expression of the quality of Jesus, who Thank is you for our living us way. For the introduction. Thank you for joining us for the I introduction. I hope that this series is beneficial to the both of us. I am excited to start tomorrow, Ash Wednesday, for our first Lenten series. We will be running Sunday, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and occasionally, if there's a really good one throughout the week, I might even add an extra for that week. I hope that you enjoyed the introduction, and I will.